Hey guys, it's Landon Blake from Redefined Horizons, and this is a video I'm doing for one of our CAD techs, Michaela. And what we're going to do in this video is we're going to take a drawing that was provided by a client with a title block and some paper space stuff, and uh, we're going to put it on our uh, layout grid. So we'd like to use a, a layout grid and a baseline grid here at RH, just makes our drafting easier. So I got the drawing open here, it's got two tabs. Uh, the title block is is basically the same uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this second sheet okay so I've got the main sheet here this is what we're gonna use and uh, what I'm gonna do first is I'm just gonna uh, make a new tab and uh, for now we're just gonna call it new layout okay so I've got a blank layout now and uh, what I want to do is uh, I want to set this up Uh, to be the right the right page size so we're going to come in here we're going to set a nitro pdf um, as our let's see do i want nitro custom i think i want nitro custom and uh, we just want a d sheet 24 by 36 so let's see here arch d will work Okay, and then we're going to say we want a window. Actually, I don't want a window yet. I'm just going to say okay. All right, so that looks pretty good, except it's uh, in profile view, and I need it in landscape. So let's go in and make this landscape right here. Okay. Now, what I want to do is I want to import our RH layout grid on here. So let's go ahead and do that. So we're just going to insert it as a block, and we're going to come down to our RH templates, RH CAD folder, and we're going to go into sheets, and we're going to grab the 24 by 36 inch layout grid right here. Okay, so we're going to open that, and uh, we're going to drop it in at zero, zero. Okay. Uh, now you can see it's offset a little bit from the paper, so let's fix that. We're going to come back into page setup, and we are going to say window. And uh, we're going to window the outside of this. Okay. All right. So now our grid is lined up on our sheet. And so now we're ready to, to start migrating stuff over. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to come over and we're going to grab the title block. Okay. So I'm going to grab all this stuff here. Control C or edit copy either way and then we're going to come over into our new layout and we're just going to paste this over here into space okay so uh, the first thing we want to do is we is we want to go ahead and lay this title block in there um, and we want to leave a little bit of a margin around the edge of the sheet so I'm going to attempt this by coming in here and uh, I'm going to grab this center line here and we're going to put that right here okay so I'm leaving this one inch margin and um, as you can see we don't we don't fit right we don't quite fit um, so we got to clean that up a little bit because we want we, we do want to try and get this thing on our layout grid okay I'm gonna get rid of this call before you dig thing because we don't need it for what we're doing all right so <clears throat> uh, what we're probably gonna do is uh, I'm, I'm probably going to get rid of this revision table um, because this is more for an engineering, a set of engineering plans. Um, unless I think I could scrunch that, scrunch that up a little bit. Uh, yeah, we'll see. I think I am. I think I'm going to get rid of this. So we're going to get rid of this. Uh, Revision set here. Okay, and then uh, just to make this fit a little better on the layout grid here, I'm just going to come in and move this over. Okay, and then we're we're going to actually start to make some of this fit on the layout grid. So I'm going to come in here and we're going to move this up like that. Okay, and then I'm also going to take these bars here and 
we're going to move them up here to this red line. So we're just making this fit our layout grid. Okay, and then we'll extend these over. Okay. And then uh, we'll go ahead and run from midpoint down to midpoint here. Nope. And uh, we'll see if we can get these to fit a little better. Okay, now we're going to end up doing some more adjustments here because we're going to we're going to put these on our baseline grid, which I'll show you guys in a, in a little bit. It might be in another video, but so we'll, we'll we'll get this cleaned up a little bit. Okay. All right. Now, uh, what I'd like is I'd like this stuff to go in here. So I want to move this. This stuff needs to move up. So what we're going to do is we're going to come in here. We're going to just take this logo and everything, and we're going to say, hey, we want to move you. Actually, that's not what I want either. So just to make this work, I'm going to extend this line over. I'm going to say, all right, I want to move everything here okay, from this point right here. We're going to put that on our layout grid right here. Okay, and then we're going to take these three lines again. And we're going to move them uh, up here to our layout grid. Okay. Okay, so now they're on our layout grid. We'll extend this over. Okay. And uh, that looks like it still fits to me, which is cool. Okay, so what we're going to do is uh, we want to cap it, right? We want to leave that one inch margin in. So we're going to copy these lines over. And they just they do these three lines like this because that's how they get a thick line. Um, this is the way the client does it. All right, so we're going to drop that in there. And then uh, we're going to extend this over. And then what we're going to do is we're going to trim these lines out. So, and we probably need to do a fillet. Yeah, we need to fillet these blue lines. It's kind of a pain in the butt the way they do it. But. So we're going to fillet these lines. Move this over. I think we got this in now where we want. Okay, and uh, what we did is uh, we're going to slide this title stuff up a little bit. <clears throat> okay, and what I probably want to do here is figure out how to center that stuff. So um, we're going to draw a line from here to here that will give us a good midpoint. Okay, and then now I can draw this midpoint up. And we're going to drop perpendicular over here. Okay, so that's the middle. This line right here now is the middle of these three cells. So now I can kind of take this text and center it. So if you get it and it doesn't want to snap to the right spot, you just hit PER for your perpendicular snap. Okay, now these are a little bit tricky just because of the way they do these. Um, so I'm going to snap these to uh, these buffer lines on the edge of my cells, which is kind of nice. That's why we have buffer lines. Okay. All right, so we've got the title kind of centered there. Now I can move this stuff back over. Okay, so okay, and we'll extend these over here. All right, so now I've got a, a client title block that basically fits our layout grid, right? I've actually got a little a little more room here because I've got one more cell. Um, so I actually goofed that up, didn't I? So let's move these. Oop. I should have gone over one more cell, so let's do that. These go here. And then we can take these lines and extend them over. OK, 
Okay, and then so when, when we're done here, we'll have we'll have what I call the vertical bar done, uh, which is part of the title block, the vertical band or vertical bar. Okay, so this area right here at my shop is what we call a band. So that's a vertical band. So that's done. So what we'd like to do now uh, is just get the rest of this uh, title block kind of lined up. So down here at this corner, we want to we want to end it right here. So I'm going to run my trim command, and we're going to. I only want to trim the blue lines though. Okay. And then uh, we're going to come down here and copy these. So this blue line should actually run down here to the middle. So we're going to copy these three lines here. And we'll take them down here. Okay, and then we'll run that fillet command again. Whoop. To clean these up. Okay, so now we've got that corner squared the way we want. We got our one inch margin over here. Okay, and it just happens to come to the right spot over here, which means we can get rid of this. And uh, now we can copy these lines, these horizontal lines for our title block. And we can move them up here. Okay, so now what we have. Uh, nope, is uh, we've got a. Almost. We almost have a good title block here. Okay, so we've got a pretty good title block here now that fits our layout grid. Um, we got to do a little bit of cleanup on some of this text. Uh, we'll align that to our base, baseline grid in a minute. Okay, so the, the other. Uh, I'm just going to do a couple more things here. So we've got these notes that we'll put in once we have our uh, our layout grid done, uh, but we also want to uh, we also want to drop our viewport in here. So here's our viewport. So I'm going to just move the move this using the top left corner, and we're going to put it right here on our buffer lines. That's how this layout grid works. Okay, and then we want to do something kind of reasonable here. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, probably move this down to right here. Okay, so that gives me, uh, actually, you know what, let's do that again. I'm going to pull this out of here. Okay, so now we got our viewport in here, and that leaves me with a kind of two by two, two by two buffer area around my viewport, between my viewport and my title block. Okay, and, and what makes it easy um, to kind of see what we've got here is we can just grab our uh, freeze layer command, and we can turn off these grid lines. Oh, it doesn't for some reason. It's because this is on. Let's make that zero. Try and freeze these again. All right, so here's what it looks like uh, without the grid on it. A little, little easier on the eyes, but everything's laid out square. Um, so what we'll do in the next video is we'll come in and we'll start to lay these notes out on the baseline grid, and we'll get some of the stuff in the title block here lined out on the baseline grid. This is going to look really nice when we're all done. All right, so... I will catch you on that next video, guys. Thanks.